Hey, what's up guys? This is Carson from 3D Joe's. Um, just got a little bit of feedback about it being tricky to navigate 3D Joe's. Uh, I wanted to make sure that everybody knows the kind of different navigation places uh, that you can uh, use to get around. So half the traffic's coming from mobile. So I put this at the top right corner. Uh, if you're on a mobile device, you know, you can double tap at the navigation bar to zoom in and kind of scroll across and see all the different navigation menus. You can also uh, go into this mobile page right here and grabbing along the right-hand side where you see the little finger icon, you can slide that up and down. Uh, everybody knows my favorite character is Lieutenant Falcon, so I'll use the chronological sorting here. There's 1987. I'll double tap on that left-hand row to kind of zoom in, and there's Falcon, so I'll click on that, and there's Lieutenant Falcon. Uh, we'll go back to the mobile page. You can use the reverse pinch to kind of squeeze out of that. Um, I'll close up 87. I'll go down to alphabetical. Let's go find Lieutenant Falcon on the alphabetical menu. I'll double tap again. This time we'll go check out version two of Night Force Falcon. Pretty cool figure. On any of these pages, you can double tap and you can also use the pinch zoom and you can turn these guys around, of course. And you, know, you can turn your phone sideways to see the file cards and read those full screen. Um, so I think it's pretty user friendly. Another thing that you could use under the figures tab is the yearbook page. This is a great chronological visual index of every carded figure ever released. So we'll go down to 1987. Check out my homie, Lieutenant Falcon. There he goes. Um, okay, so another way is, and Larry Hama requested this one personally, is the A to Z alphabet, alphabetical index. So that's under figures, and you go to figures A to Z. And if you double click it like I just did, it's going to go ahead through to the first figure. So you don't have to do that. But click on A to Z, then we'll click on F. And you basically just push it to the side and keep pushing it to the side. And so let's go look at Supersonic Fighters, Lieutenant Falcon. Not my favorite version of them, but still pretty cool. It's a really good mold, obviously. Um, one of the cool things about 3D Joe's is it's got all the audio files here. So you can double tap those to zoom in on it, and you can hit the play button, and you can hear the sound effects there. So that's pretty cool. Um, other ways to navigate, let's see. Vehicles also have their own yearbook page. Uh, so that's a comprehensive page with every vehicle on it, kind of a visual index by year. So that's very useful. Um, don't sleep on the print archive. There's tons of good stuff in there, books, catalogs, all that kind of stuff. Um, my friend Dan Moore was doing an amazing trade ads section. So definitely get in there. Uh, there's a, all the magazines have been scanned, like every single page of them. Uh, we're starting to build out the comic book stuff. The catalogs uh, part is comprehensive. The book part is comprehensive. So get in there, have a good time with it. The art archive, there's a lot of assets that I've given people to download. Under the license tab, there's a, a bunch of stuff in there to look at and enjoy as well. So get in there and poke around. One of the sections that we're really starting to build out now is pre-production though. And these creator profiles are insane. There is so much content on each of these pages. Each page is basically a book's worth of information. There's over 200 images on this page alone. Uh, this is all the work of Bill Merkline, who was one of the contract sculptors who worked for Hasbro from 1983 to 1989 and created 70 of the figures that we know and love. Um, look at that, 200 images, tons of text, just amazing work, a body of work that you know spanned a decade. Anyway, um, that's all under pre-production. Go into the creator profiles. Those are amazing. Um, more 3D Joes is where we're going to build, be building out different sections of the site for different eras. And again, the mobile link is right there at the top. So there's several ways to get to where you want to go. Uh, the last one I should show you, I'll double tap in the top right corner. There's your search bar. So if you're like, hey, man, I just can't find Lieutenant Falcon. Where is he? All right, cool. Let's find Lieutenant Falcon. Just type it into the search window. And there's everywhere that Lieutenant Falcon appears on the website. So there's multiple ways to skin this cat. Uh, hopefully this was useful to folks that are not sure how to navigate the site. I think the big breakthrough though is to know how to double tap to zoom in and out on stuff. Um, oh yeah, I should also mention each of these figure and vehicle pages, if it says overview next to it, you can just click on that and like, yes, it'll bring out the secondary menu. But if you double click on it, it takes you to the overview page where you see all those figures. 
And I know a lot of people were used to browsing Yojo's kind of overview, overview pages like that. So I think it's important to point that out here. You've got the same thing with the vehicles. So we'll just go ahead and double click on the 1986 vehicles. And so they're all there. Um, their overview pages are very easy to use. I'll double tap over here so you can go to the previous year on that side. I'll double tap over here and you can go the next year on that side. The banners up at the top are actually clickable as well. So if I click on that banner at the top, it takes you to that corresponding vehicle. So that's pretty sweet. And again, you know, you can just go from year to year through these overview pages just by clicking the tiny little text buttons right there at the top right and top left corner. Um, I think that's all that I want to show you guys. There's Again, you know, I've been building this for 10 years, so I kind of take it for granted that everybody knows how to use it. Um, and I probably shouldn't take that for granted. So hopefully this video was helpful to people. Let me know your thoughts. Um, pretty locked in on the way that it's built though. I mean, it's been built for a decade. There's over a thousand pages on here. Probably not gonna do massive overhaul navigation changes. So it's more important just to get everybody kind of up to speed on how to use it. Hope you guys are using it and enjoying it. Take it easy.